Hey everyone, welcome back. This right here is a complete game changer, you guys. It is a game changer, and it's not it's not going to be for 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 most, but for some of you guys, this right here can completely change around not only the finances in in your in your in your daily operations, right? Whether it's personal finance or whether it's business finance. It don't matter. All of us are entrepreneurs trying to build a freaking business, and we know how revenue and profits and revenue and net we know how all that works right where it's like man we're on our grind we're on our grind to 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 keep that needle moving right and to stay in the positive i truly believe that as an entrepreneur you're on your daily grind and as you're on your daily grind you're spending money and a lot of the times when you're in sales or you're building a business when you're building a business it pertains to sales i don't care what type of business we have to sell something if we're going to stay in business, right? So when it comes to this type of stuff, it can get hard, man. It can get hard. And so in 2020, what every single business owner needs to be doing is obviously creating some type of personal brand on social media. That's number one, number one. But to the local business owner, your ideal client or your ideal customer is right there in your backyard. You're a local restaurant, you're a local chiropractor, you're a local gym owner, you're a local dentist, you're a local restaurant, you're a local real estate agent, right? You're dealing with people in that local backyard. So 2020 and, and, and beyond, how do we get in front of this, these, these people? It needs to be video. So hopefully you caught on a step three a few emails ago where I'm talking about video, that video. So if you're an entrepreneur and if you're building a business in 2020, you have to be putting stuff out on social media, right? But again, because we have a local business, that's why the Facebook ad is so important. Okay. It's so, so important. But as you're making video content for your Facebook ads, okay, that's where you need to be, be, be at. You don't need to be splatting stuff all over social media. So the content that you should be making, the content that you're already most likely making to put on social media, I'm telling you, it should be video form. And, and, and the primary purpose is to run a Facebook ad. And so now that we have that content, we have that strategy, and we're running Facebook ads every single week targeting our local area, what else can we do with that video? You already made the video. It's already powerful content, right? It's education, it's value, right? Here's where you're gonna park it. You're gonna park that video also on YouTube. This is where it's gonna go. So rather than trying to take that video and post it on LinkedIn, rather than trying to put it on Twitter, rather than trying to put it on Instagram in some type of image or, 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 or Instagram story, stop doing these Instagram stories. They're gone in 24, in 24 hours and, and Instagram's not sending you a check. This platform right here will. That same video, that same video, that same content, that same asset is what we call it, right? That same post, that same video, you're going to also park it right here. And here's the ultimate strategy. The ultimate strategy with YouTube is to start putting up multiple videos per week. You want to, you want to put up anywhere from anywhere from two to three videos per week. And you want to do that every single week for 12 months. That's the challenge. This is the YouTube challenge. This is what I'm literally challenging you to do as of this very moment. As of this very moment, pull into your phone, pull into your computer and upload something. Upload something to YouTube and I want you to start right now. Literally start right now. All right? Whatever videos on property, whatever videos you have on an open house, when it comes to YouTube and if you're doing video on your cell phone, which is perfectly fine, start getting in the habit of more long-term video. So, so if you have a Facebook ad and you're running Facebook ads and your whole rhythm is three to four minutes, you're, you're educating that audience, right? You're, you're talking about the process of buying or you're talking about the process of selling, right? Try to get in the habit of long form video. Sometimes, most likely all the time on whether you're running Facebook ads or even Instagram ads, Instagram ads, much shorter, 60 seconds or less. But with Facebook, you can have a video as long as you want. I have a, I just posted a video today on my, on my, on my personal Facebook page and that video was 50, 59 minutes long. So Facebook, you can do long form video for sure, but that long form, get in the habit of putting it here. This is where you could put super short video on YouTube, but, but YouTube really loves video that could be 10 plus minutes long. That's why in the majority of my videos, it's 10 plus minutes long because that's plenty of time for ads to be ran because here's what's going to happen. 
as you're an entrepreneur building your business, any type of extra income, any type of passive income, any type of residual income, you guys know what I'm talking about. Those of you, realtors, right? Passive income, owning property, having an asset that pays you cash, that's real estate, right? The same thing can happen with your YouTube video. The same thing can happen with your video. The same video that you're putting out regardless. The same video you're putting it on putting out on Facebook, the same video that you may be trying to put everywhere else, you're going to put it here and you're going to do, you're going to do one to three. You're going to go, no, you're going to go two to three. You're going to go two to three videos per week for a 12 month period. I challenge you. Most of you won't do that, but I'm here to tell you, and I'm here to show you some simple, simple numbers on why you should be doing that. Because as I opened up this video, the whole grind of an entrepreneur is a grind and any extra income that can offset other expenses, whether they're small expenses, marketing, whether they're small expenses or big expenses, but most, but, but, but they're important expenses because I'm building a business. I need to pay for my CRM. I need to pay for my marketing. I need to pay for my licensing. I need to pay for my freaking broker's fee. All these random fees that you have to pay for as a business owner, let's call it 400 a month. 400 a month. You should be spending more than that on advertising alone, but let's just call you have some random expenses monthly that pertain to your business and it's about 400 a month. Do you understand that if you start parking that video over here on YouTube and you start taking my advice of two to three videos per week for 12 months, I'm going to show you what type of passive income could possibly be sent to you every single 30 days. Okay. Because here's what's going on with mine. I started this channel back in 2017 around online entrepreneurship around capturing leads on the internet around social media marketing in 2017 is when i was when i started my agency and i started helping real estate agents with all this stuff okay and so that's when i started putting up random videos on my cell phone random rants on my cell phone where i'm just talking about my day or i'm just talking about you know um mindset or personal development and then it wasn't until like 2018 when i started and you can look, my, my videos are here. My playlists are here. Like click the button below, subscribe, you know, subscribe to my channel, stay in touch with me on YouTube because I drop all videos on now on, on, I, I'll, I'll do like a screen share like this and I'll, and I'll, and I'll tailor it all towards social media marketing, Facebook advertising, and just making money online, right? From a marketing perspective, what software we need, how to build a landing page, how to set up email automation, no matter what type of business you're building. That's what I, what I put out on, on YouTube. And so all I'm saying with you is that the same video that you're putting out on Facebook, rather than thinking you need to put it on all these other random platforms, I want you to simply put it over here. And when you're doing the video on a cell phone, whether you're doing it on a computer, you can easily be at your kitchen table right now on your laptop, giving me 10 minutes of a rant on what it takes to sell my property. The top 10 tips to increase the value of your property before you decide to sell it. Hey guys, this is John. Just wanted to come on here and give you the top 10 tips. Here's tip number one, curb appeal. Make sure that landscape, right? You guys can talk about this stuff, man. This is your business. This is your passion. YouTube is just more long form. You can do, again, a couple minutes here and there, but you want to kind of get in the habit of, of more long form. Teach me something. Teach me the process of buying. Teach me the process of selling. And so a lot of the times it could be that Facebook video. Um, a lot of the times it could be that Facebook video ad. Um, in fact, every time just put that content over here as well, but then also maybe start delegating extra time per week to make a couple YouTube videos and just say, you know what, I'm going to do two a week and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do it in my room and I'm going to do screen share and I'm going to actually walk people through the real estate market in my local area. And, and although it's going to come on YouTube where there's going to be a ton of people from all over the world following me, it doesn't matter because in 12 months, if David's telling me put two to three videos up per week and in 12 months I could be seeing a paycheck, here's what I'm seeing. This is what I've been doing for about the past 12 months. Okay. And, and so I just became monetized where now this weekly deposit, or excuse me, I wish it was weekly, monthly, this monthly deposit is actually being, being sent. So my point is, man, is that as an entrepreneur, you have expenses. What if you were able to simply put this content on, the, on this platform and, 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 and in 12 months, you'll have tons of subscribers, tons of people will be watching your stuff. And because you're focused on one specific topic, 
real estate. You start building a tribe. You start building an audience. You start building subscribers of people who all have the same interests. And you never know where that next client is coming from, man. Facebook video ad is very specific, very targeted. I'm running an ad directly to that area. With YouTube ads, you can also do that. But what I'm referring to here is just organic uploading. What you're doing already, day in the life, give me two to three videos per week, upload it to this channel, okay? So right now with me doing that for, let's just call it the past, let's call it the past 12 months. Me doing that for the past 12 months, I've been able to get the subscriber count up to that many. You guys know many people that have 17,000. You guys follow many people on YouTube, you'll come across a random video that you see and that channel has 178,000. I follow people that have 2 million subscribers. I'm showing you such a smaller number, but still a big number, but it's still a small number, you know, compared to people I know, right? So that's why I trip out. Cause I'm like, dude, as an entrepreneur, who, how, how would this not help? You know, I don't care what kind of business you're building. It don't matter. As a real estate agent, you're not closing deals every day. As a real estate agent, you're not even closing deals every week. As a real estate agent, most of you aren't even closing deals every month. So it's like, dude, how can this, what I'm about to show you, how can this income not supplement? How can it not pay your car note? How can it not be the grocery money? How could it not be the, the light bill and, 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 and the cell phone bill? How could it not be your office lease bill, right? In 12 months, man, that I, I truly believe you guys could be way further. I truly believe in 12 months, if you did that religiously, three videos, two to three videos per week. I know for a fact in 12 months, you'd be over, over my, over my number. You'd have more than 1700. So based on 1700, this is the income. Okay. Because mo majority of my videos are longer than 10 minutes. YouTube wants videos longer than 10 minutes so we can run ads on them. Here is my revenue this month. Okay. Actually. Yeah. Actually last month, February, which is paid out in March. Okay. So we can look at all of them, but this is where it's at in February. So here's the way it works. I didn't start becoming monetized. This channel did not reach the requirements, which are 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So in a 12 month period, in 12 months, right? I didn't hit 1,000 subscribers until like the middle of 2019. Okay, so we're only in 2020, you guys. Like, keep it real. Like, let's look at these real numbers. Had I known how to get there faster, two to three videos per week, 12 months, had I known that back in 2017, I would have had these numbers. I would have, I, I would have been way, way further. So that's what I'm telling you. It wasn't until about 2019, until about the middle of 2019, when I started being more consistent and I started putting up more weekly videos and I really took it more seriously. And then, so in 2019, this is what happened. Let's look at all, actually, let's go to, let me look at it this way. Okay, so let's look at it this way. Let's go to, let's click on this drop down and let's just go, let's just go lifetime. And let's refresh this. Data is currently unavailable for some videos. Okay, that's fine. But this should give me the, the number that I already know. Okay, so we go lifetime, we go revenue. And again, the dashboard, we look at the dashboard. That's where I was showing you the, the, the subscriber count, 1788. And then we look at the analytics and I'm looking at revenue. So this is what I'm saying, you guys, and I'm gonna end it here. That same content that you're putting out on Facebook, okay? Let's go lifetime. That same content we're putting out on Facebook with a Facebook video ad. You're going to also park it here. Delegate time also to make YouTube specific videos, 10 plus minutes, okay? Teach me something. Teach me about that process, right? Because in 12 months, I'm telling you, these are, these are going to be the numbers. These are going to be the numbers. It wasn't until October when I first got that first check. I got that check. You can check my channel. Go to YouTube Ad Money. I have videos. I'm talking about every month so far of me getting that deposit. I'm recording a video when it actually drops in my bank account, right? Because I'm not going to just believe numbers either, either, right? Show me the money, right? Show me the money. That money was deposited in my account in October, you guys, and I flipped out. In, in November, it went to 312. In December, it was 335. I was talking about that. 
in, in my video in December. Go back to my, look at my channel. That video, I'm flipped out. Got my wife diamond earrings with that monthly deposit from YouTube that randomly came because I've been putting videos up on YouTube. Like what the heck? I'm telling you, most business owners are putting that same type of content and they're throwing it all against social media. They're throwing it, throwing spaghetti all against the wall when they're building a local business. Okay. So again, Facebook ads, that's how we're going to target our local area. But we also over here are going to just simply drop it over here as well. And who cares over here, people all over the world are going to see it. Who cares? But if I can start getting paid on it, that's what I'm talking about. That's the punchline. Okay. I got that in December and I flipped out. In January, 413. In February, 533. And that's where we're at right now. March hasn't, right now we're on March 3rd. Okay. It's March 3rd. March just started. And I'm already at 18 bucks. I'm already at 18 bucks. I'm already at 18 bucks. Look, you guys, 533. So I already know, because here's my whole plan with this three videos a week. So subscribe to my channel, click the button below, subscribe to my channel and just stay in touch with me on YouTube. Comment on any of my videos, comment on any of my videos. Let me know what you want to learn and I'll, and I'll, and I'll put that all on video for you on my YouTube channel. Okay. Um, but I'm telling you, man, aside of everything else that I got going on, aside of my training course, teaching you guys how to do all this stuff, aside of my, my, my consulting and, and, and real estate clients, aside of all that income, you're telling me. And with you guys closing deals, you're telling me that extra side income from content that you were already putting out just because you parked it over here. Now you're getting a monthly deposit. You're telling me that wouldn't change someone's life. Yeah, it would. That's a car note. That's rent in some places. That's grocery money. That's all the above. That's a monthly check that's going to continue to increase because I'm going to keep putting out content. I'm going to keep uploading videos on YouTube, right? So rather than this going on LinkedIn, rather than this going on my Instagram story, rather than this going on TikTok, rather than this going on freaking Facebook, on my business page when you got 300 likes, right? Hopefully you guys got 3,000 now, right? That's who is getting this video. video. But um, all that stuff needs to make sense, man. All that, all that stuff needs to make sense. And it's like, okay, Facebook video ad, YouTube, and in 12 months, I'm telling you, this check is going to continue to increase because you're going to keep putting out video. You're going to keep documenting your business. You're going to stay fired up about what you're doing and you're going to always have content. And those videos are, are, I'm telling you, two to three per week. That's what you want to do. And in 12 months, I'm telling you, you can be way past this. And that's a game changer for anyone. All right, guys. So subscribe to the channel, stay in touch and upload your video right now. I'll, I'll see you guys on the next video.